Uh, Gaffer, just your kind of initial feelings after that game there? Um, d- disappointed really with the decision of the penalty, I must say. Um, you know, we, we, should, we should have three points, we should win the game 2-1. We've looked at it back, I'm going to see the referee in a minute. It's hard enough coming to places like Lincoln and getting a decision against you like that's tough to take. So, listen, pleased with the lads, they're fantastic right the way through. Um, yeah, it, it, is a, it is a foul, I'm not going to lie, but it's outside the box and he's got to understand and he's got to see where that is. You know, there was a few things that went on, but you know what? All I can say is we've come to a team who, who, who were in the playoff final last season, and, and we've probably played a lot of good football, created a lot of chances. In saying that, you know, I just said to Ryan there, you know, we want to score 20 goals a season. He's got to be putting them in in the back of the net. He knows that, and that's not a criticism towards him. But what it is is put the ball in the back of the net, and then we don't have these situations. Um, but I thought they were all fantastic. Look, they're out on the feet a little bit there, as you can probably see. It was the last one. He'll get a couple of extra days rest now, and. And we'll look to to bounce back and get get you know get more points on the board our next home game. But I thought they were fantastic. I thought some of the football we played was was, was different class. Yeah, you know they're a good team Lincoln. They've got some good players. Their interchange is very good, and you know, I thought we dealt with that a lot of the time. Yeah, you know, the first goal from them is across, and Jordy slipped. There's nothing I can do about that, and the kid bundles it in. But disappointed with the with the decision of the of, of the penalty certainly because you know you need you need a bit of honesty in situations like that when you're coming uh, but I won't say too much about it in terms of how I feel because I might get myself into trouble but it's another point it takes us in the right direction away from home uh, what I will say and I said to our lads we just need to find that you know, killer instinct uh, especially in the first half I thought Ryan could have had an answer um, so you know, we're back to the drawing board back to finishing sessions back to putting balls in the back of the net and ultimately their keeper kept the minute loads as well didn't he he made some fantastic saves um, Coops weren't that busy so Again, <laughs> like a broken record, aren't I? I'm pleased with the point of being more pleased with three, and that will be the case uh, because I always want to get three. Absolutely, and and if we take the penalty aside, that was pretty much almost a perfect performance. <laughs> I mean, not even just away performance because, yeah. as you said, we created a lot of a lot of chances and, and opened them up quite a lot. We did, yeah, and that's that's what we want. We're, look, we're a different animal from we was last season. You know, we're, we're coming to these places like to the Lincolns, like to the Portsmouth. We we want to win. We want to win these games. We're not just coming here to, you know, to, to make the numbers up or sitting back. We're, we're coming to attack. I thought they played some good football as well, and it was a good footballing game. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but more importantly, I worry about what we do. And I thought we were fantastic, as you said. But again, you know, you need um, decisions that go against you to be hundred percent right, or you can't give them. And I'm not sure that decision was hundred percent right. Um, we'll talk a, a, a little bit about the fans as well because I think there were 700 of them. <laughs> they were getting a bit carried away with singing top of the league at some point, but they were enjoying themselves in the rain and they yeah. were enjoying the performance, weren't they? They do, and they've been fantastic. And you know, it's, it's for a lot of them to come, you know, 700 all the way from Plymouth to, to Lincoln's a stretch in itself. It took us a while to get here yesterday, but no, fantastic. They're brilliant. You see it, the singing, the, the shouting in the numbers, the, 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 the cheering us on and cheering the lads on. That's what we want. Um, but they see it they see the effort and the commitment the lads are giving they give us everything there them lads for the fans as well and we say that we use them as a motivational that look they're here in the numbers to support you you know fantastic and I know that will continue Just a quick one you said there could be a, a couple of days rest now for a couple of the boys because it's been busy yeah, hasn't has, it? yeah it definitely has mate they will we'll have to make sure we recover them properly uh, and we'll give them a little bit of downtime with the families and yeah uh, I, I'm pleased. I, want, I wanted to get this this game out of the way as quick as we possibly could because of the the niggles and everything else that's been going on and the, the fatigue and the lads. So we can shut them down now. They'll have a little bit of a program, and uh, we'll get them ready for for, for bed. And I'll be in a room. Top staff, Gaffer. Thank, Thank you very much. much.